Hello friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. Friends, in today's video, we will discuss about uh, gas turbine startup process. What is the standard control curve which a turbine follows during its startup? And we will discuss about a uh, few doubts which uh, different viewers has raised in my comment section. I have been receiving quite a few uh, requests to make video on this topic. So that is why I have picked up this one and let us discuss this in detail. So friends, uh, I'm a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience and I used to create small fundamental videos for uh, power plant uh, young engineers. And if you follow a same time of content, you can subscribe and ask questions in comment section. And uh, guys, we are coming up uh, with a new uh, experiment where uh, our three or four friends will be there who can discuss different topics on power plant and we can have a question answer sessions. So if you are interested, any one of you are interested, then you can send uh, your questions in uh, comments and then we can have a session also on weekends, Saturdays and Sundays where engineers, uh, different engineers will participate in the doubt clearing session and team, uh, our team is having around 50 to 20 years of experience in the field. So probably uh, people may get help on technical doubt clearing sessions. So yeah, that's a new thing which we are starting. So friends, uh, let us start discussing about this startup process. So if you have been in a power plant in operation or maintenance team or in automation instrumentation team, then you are uh, aware of the uh, startup process, which is a very uh, crucial or difficult process in a every power plant. So this, uh, this plot this plot is a very complicated one and having different uh, uh, things to note one important uh, aspect i will try to dis uh, describe here if you see this uh, axis y axis y axis so we can see uh, that y axis uh, 0 to 100 so we can see that it is uh, denoting the speed of the turbine in percentage that uh, 0% to full speed that is 100% which we can call as a full speed no load condition and then there is a this line also this line going towards uh, like this so this is a different line where you have how your turbine speed is increasing so there are different uh, breakup also where you can see that time delay is more. So there is a breakup. So this is a speed line and next this one is our exhaust temperature, exhaust gas temperature line. This is speed line and this is our FSR line and if you have any doubt in FSR then you can find a different video of FSR which I have create, created earlier. You can go and understand from there. So this is how uh, the total graph has to be read. And there is also IGV degrees. So this is also a IGV opening. So here it may be minimum 34% or 36% uh, different uh, numbers for different machine. It may be here 86 also or 84 also degrees opening, full opening for different numbers for different machines. So this is how we have to understand it. Now let us start, uh, uh, we can see there are there is a sequence before the turbine breaks from this uh, standstill speed. So that is also all uh, related to auxiliary equipment. So that is we are not covering in this video. We will create a different video for that. We will try to understand this whole concept in this uh, video. 
so here you can see your speed is increasing a little bit yeah so earlier your machine being on uh, cranking or uh, some people say it barring some people say it ratcheting so smaller machine uh, uh, like 6b it is ratchet and uh, for larger machine it is barring around 120 or 115 bar, uh, rpm so this machine is uh, kept under barring till here and then you start and then you give a start command auto and execute then the rpm increases why rpm increasing in this period is to purge what is the purge let's say there is a some uh, fuel hydrocarbon present in the last uh, shutdown condition let's say there is a there was a trip and there may be a chances of unburnt uh, hydrocarbon present in the turbine section or in the exhaust section so the per sequence is to ensure that whatever is there that is being parsed out and uh, there is a technical calculation of that at what quantity of air has to be there to purge the hydrocarbon so that quantity at what rpm you will get accordingly the rpm is increased and that is why this rpm specifically is there for purging so there is a calculation uh, that five time of the volume which have, uh, may contain hydrocarbon that has to be purged for five minute duration so accordingly this speed comes and at this speed you operate for 180 uh, for uh, five minutes or six minutes then there is a purging complete and then there is a reduction in speed so why we reduce the speed why can't we uh, start combustion uh, start here only why we are starting this combustion here so this is a question many people ask so uh, the, the answer is like this there is a particular speed is required for stabilizing the combustion so you can start see there is a basic rule you there is a basic rule that means if you have a high flow high fuel that will lead to high temperature means high uh, stress on machine if you have low fuel so that means there is a chances of loss of flame so there is a optimum speed and optimum speed with right amount of fuel so that is here but that is not matching your purging calculation so that is why you cannot start this machine at this rpm you have to reduce you have to reduce your rpm so that whatever air you are putting that air is sufficient to start the combustion process so that is why this reduction is happening in rpm if you are using a uh, cranking motor then motor will reduce uh, uh, i mean motor will not but the torque converter will reduce the speed motor motor will run at a constant speed then your torque converter will reduce the speed or if you are operating the machine with a diesel engine then diesel engine will lower down the speed to start the combustion process and here the combustion process will start and you see that there is a fsr fire fsr so the here the initial combustion initial uh, combustion has to start and then fire combustion uh, fire fsr will reduce just after the flame is established and then you see there is a no nothing uh, increase in uh, uh, fuel quantity because here it is mentioned one minute somewhere it is two minute also the warm-up timer is two minute so here you are not going to give any stress to machine because your machine was already coming from cold condition so to minimize that uh, thermal shock this warm up is provided so that the temperature fuel is burning and two minutes you gave uh, for soaking of this machine to higher temperature 
and then slowly the temperature will increase the exhaust temperature you can see this line the exhaust temperature is increasing but rpm is uh, not that much increasing and you are not increasing the fsr fsr is constant fuel is constant right so after that you see after 1 minute or 2 minute of timer the acceleration fsr comes into picture F acceleration fsr is uh, one of the highest uh, out of the six fsr unit acceleration fsr is the highest and it takes up the uh, machine from minimum speed to uh, like uh, overcoming all the critical speed as well and putting the machine above the self sustaining speed so here also you have a force coming from your uh, the cranking motor or your diesel engine both are supporting your turbine to climb this curve and this fuel increase will be supported by your uh, auxiliary machine support and then you have your acceleration period where you can see acceleration is here but now you don't have the temperature increase why why you don't have a temperature increase after this period any guess if any anyone knows then you can write in comment section i will write to see so if uh, uh, the answer you know otherwise here we can see the igv is at minimum position till this point or uh, closely this point and after that your fsr is constant but your igv is opening so igv opening means there is a lot of air which is pushed into the turbine so that you have you have already the fuel you are running rich on very rich on fuel but now you know that okay there is a, a sufficient uh, speed which i have gained now the machine is in uh, self sustaining zone now i can reduce the rich mixture uh, fuel rich mixture and then start increasing the igv and then your uh, exhaust temperature uh, comes down and but you have a stable combustion process so you are putting that lot of air which uh, gives you the two right quantity of air plus fuel mixture and then your speed keeps on increasing and then you reach on the full speed no load condition where there is a uh, stopping in uh, fsr u startup uh, fsr so that is how the total machine uh, startup process is look like and if you have any questions in this uh, particular chart or curve then you can please ask those question in comment section i will try to reply to those questions so this is a very complex complex chart which is difficult to understand for any uh, fresher or uh, young engineer which are starting their career but this is very important you should understand and uh, make it by heart and if you have any question then please contact yeah thank you for uh, watching this video uh, if you like the content uh, please subscribe the channel thank you very much